welcome to Fun Day Monday number 20. Today we are going to look at putting a border on a blanket using the primrose stitch. I have been working on a baby blanket using the primrose stitch and so a couple weeks ago I did a tutorial on how to do the primrose stitch and from that video I received a request on what can I do for a border on a primrose blanket? So there are many, many ways that you can put a border on this stitch for a blanket. But I am going to show you the one that I'm going to do for mine and hopefully you will find it to be a successful one for your blanket if you so choose to make a primrose stitch blanket yourself. So again, I'm gonna show you this stitch a little bit up close. I hope you can see that very well. The yarn that I use for this blanket is DK Colors Hummingbird and that is this bottom portion of the blanket right here that you see. And then this light blue right here and this lavender which they call mauve is actually Burnett baby coordinates yarn and that is what I use to make this particular baby blanket out of and I hope you can see that very well so if you're ready I am going to show you the border that I'm going to put on my blanket and hopefully you'll find it to be one that you like doing for your blanket so if you're ready Let's roll to the craft table. Before we get started on creating the border for this Primrose Stitch Baby Blanket, I just wanted to share that I created this blanket with a foundation chain of 137. The first stitch was worked in the third stitch from the hook, so that actually gave it a width of 135 stitches across. Now the border will add a little bit more of a width and length to the blanket. I did use a 5.5 hook, so that is equivalent to an eye hook. And if you're ready to get started, we're going to start the border in this top corner right here. And I am going to create a little slip knot right here and I'm going to come right into this corner stitch of the blanket and I'm going to slide my slip knot onto my hook and pull it through then I'm going to grab the working yarn separate the little tail from it and slip stitch into that slip knot, tighten it down, chain one. That chain one is going to count as my first single crochet and I'm going to go ahead and work two more single crochets into that corner stitch. As I'm working I am going to go ahead and secure my foundation chain up against the blanket so that I do not have to weave it in later. So that chain one is my first single crochet and I'm going to do two more right into that corner stitch and three. And then as you're going along the side, we're going to be doing single crochets all around this first row of our border. I am going to evenly disperse single crochets along the side of the blanket. So outside of that corner, I'm going to go into this very next stitch right here. And I'm going to work a single crochet. And then I'm going to go into this chain three space and work a single crochet. And again, I'm working this little foundation tail in as I go. Then I'm going to go right here into this next little stitch. And into the chain three space. 
and into this next little stitch and into the chain three space and into the next stitch and into the chain three space and I have just about worked that entire foundation tail end so I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to trim that excess off and then I'm going to come back and just go right again into the stitch and the chain three space and I'm going to continue doing this all the way around the blanket when I get to the corner stitches I will work three single crochets into each corner and so that is what it's creating it's just creating a little edge right now for our border it's going to help us set up to be able to continue adding a little bit of a fancy border So go ahead and work that all the way around. I will meet back up with you when you come back here to the beginning. So I have completed one side of the blanket and I decided to come back and spend a few moments with you. The end of my blankets where the actual chains were and the stitches were made, I began and ended with the part of the primrose stitch where you do the single crochet chain two single crochet and so that's going to change a little bit how the border is going to be worked so I thought I'd come back and work a little bit of it with you so I've just completed making three single crochets into this corner stitch so now I'm starting this edge and it has the single crochet chain to single crochet going across so coming out of the corner I'm going to go right into the center of the chain two with the first stitch and work a single crochet and then in between each of these it creates a little bit of a space and so in that space I am going to work a single crochet and then I'm going to go into the center of the chain two and work a single crochet into the center of that space in the center of the chain two the center of the space and again a single crochet in the center of the chain two a single crochet in the center of the space a single crochet in the center of the chain two and the space and I'm just going to keep going all the way across working a single crochet in the chain two and a single crochet into the space and again when I get to the other corner I will work three single crochets in that corner and then I will go back up the side of the blanket as I did with the first side and then I will go across the last end of the blanket as I have done with this in and at that point I will meet back up with you where we started and so let me just show you what that looks like so it gives it a nice straight edge All right, so I'm going to continue working this and I will meet up with you when we get back to the very beginning where we started. So I've come back to where we began putting the border on and I am going to go right into that first single crochet and slip stitch to join and that will complete putting a nice little edging border on this blanket so now I'm going to change my color because I want to keep with 
the texture of the blanket with this Bernat in it as well. So I am going to cut off a little bit of a, a tail here and pull that through. And then I'm going to thread this up on my yarn needle. And I don't want there to be a knot, so I'm just going to come right through a couple stitches here. And pull that down. And then I'm going to go right back up through a couple stitches. And take this to the back, come through this first stitch here, and back down. Through some stitches. And then I'm going to go right back up through them. And trim that tail. So now I'm going to join the new color. If you were not changing colors, obviously you would not have had to have trimmed your color and weaved in your end. You would have just continued on with this next step. So I'm going to make a little bit of a slip knot here. And I'm going to come right into that center single crochet of the single three single crochets in that corner stitch. And I'm going to grab my slip knot, tighten it down on my hook, pull it through the single crochet, and I'm going to slip stitch right into that slip knot. Tighten everything down. And I'm going to chain four. This is the only time that I will chain four, otherwise I will always be chaining three. The reason I'm chaining four is to give me a little bit of a turning chain. We're going to skip the next single crochet and in this very next single crochet we will work a single crochet. And as I'm going I'm going to work my tail in. And then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. I will skip the next single crochet and I will go into the very next one and chain three. One, two, three. Skip the next single crochet. Work a single crochet into the very next one and chain three. One, two, three. Skip the next single crochet and in this next single crochet we're going to work a single crochet. I have a good bit of that tail already worked in so I'm going to go ahead and trim it. Chain three, one, two, three. I'm going to skip the next single crochet and work a single crochet in the very next one. Chain three, skip this single crochet, and we're going to work a single crochet into this one. And so this is kind of giving me a little bit of a loopy lacy border
that I'm going to come back in on the next round and actually put some shells in. So got a little bit of a tail sticking out here. So trim that. So that way those shells will kind of match the shells in the blanket. So I'm going to continue going around the blanket. Working a chain three, one, two, three, skipping the next single crochet and working a single crochet into the next. Chaining three, skipping this single crochet, working a single crochet into the next. And I'm just going to continue repeating that all the way around. Now, when I get to the corner, I'm just going to treat it like I am the side. One, two, three. By just joining the chain three with a single crochet. And I'll just do it one time. So go ahead and finish this side and I will meet you down at our very first corner and show you what I mean. So here we have, we've worked this side of our blanket up. And we're down to the corner here. I've done the last chain three and then single crochet before the corner. So I'm just going to chain three, one, two, and three. I'm going to skip that next single crochet and I'm just going to go right into the very corner here and work my single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Now, since this is going to be the corner, and I do want to make sure that there is a shell in that actual corner. I am going to single crochet right back into that same stitch so that I've created a loop right here on the very corner so I'll be able to have a shell in that corner. And then I'm going to chain three again. One, two, three. And then I'll skip this first single crochet and I'll go right into the next one and work my single crochet and chain three, one, two, three, skip the next one, go into the next single crochet and work a single crochet. And I'm just going to continue repeating this all the way around the blanket. And as I did in this corner, I will do in all the other corners so that I actually have a loop here so I will be able to have a shell on the very tip. Now, if you're working up to a corner and let's say that you have one extra stitch, just skip that if you have to so that you're able to work right into the very tip corner of the blanket. It is not going to affect it if you skip more than one but I would only do that if you end up with an uneven number but you shouldn't you should have a equal number but sometimes it happens you might have put in one extra single crochet when you were doing row one and that's all right just skip over it in row two if that's what it takes to go right into that very corner stitch if you have any questions you can comment in the comment section below or email me and I will help you further specifically. All right, so continue going around the blanket and complete row two of this border. And I will meet back up with you when we get back to the very beginning. So you can see how this alone has given it a nice, cute, delicate little border. So you could leave it at just that, 
but I do want to add a little bit more of a definitive design to it so we're going to add shells so let me get back to this corner where I have come back to the beginning of that row around whatever you want to call it I have just made the last single crochet into the last stitch so I'm going to chain three to join and I'm going to come right over here and I'm going to do a single crochet right in that same stitch right there to round it off and then I'm going to change colors if you're not changing colors you don't have to do this but since I am changing colors and I'm going to pull that through and grab my yarn needle I'm going to go right through there to kind of help pull that together like that so it's just completing that and then I'm going to come on the back side here and go up underneath some of these stitches and then go back through just securing it down and then I'm going to use some of these to weave in my end here just to secure it in and then do it one more time for safe measure And then trim that tail all right and now I'm going to start the last round like I said you can end with that simple little border if you want gives it a little delicate edge but I want to add shells and I'm also wanting to add this color so it just continues to flow with the blanket so I'm gonna make my little slip knot here and I'm gonna come right into this end in the corner here chain and attach my color and slip knot to secure it down and tighten it I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to work two double crochets right into that same space And so with that chain three and the two double crochets it gives me a total of three double crochets into that one space and now I'm going to secure this end in as I go and I'm going to go right into that next chain three space and I'm going to work three double crochets And 
and I'm going to go right into the next one. And I'm going to work three double crochets. And I'm running a little bit out of my tail there. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that foundation. Or not foundation, but my joining tail. And go right into the next chain three and work three double crochets. And I'm just going to continue going into each chain three space working three double crochets and in just a minute I'm going to give you a look at what that looks like. And we'll do one more shell here and then we'll take a look at what our border is looking like. And I think that just kind of gives it a nice look and it, it will round it back into the shells that are in the blanket. Plus it will also give it that texture of having that Bernat baby in the blanket and then around the border. So I am going to literally continue doing that all the way around until I get to the next corner. When we get to the next corner, I will meet up with you there and we'll work on that corner together. So I've made it down to the corner here and I'm going to go right into that center chain three and do my three double crochets like we have been all the way up this side. And two and three. And now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to go right back into that same space and I'm going to do three double crochets. And this is going to create our corner. And the third one there. And that's what our corner is going to look like. And then coming along on this edge, we're going to go right into that next space and work three double crochets. And in each space or chain three across. And I'll work one more and then I'll show you what that corner actually looks like. So that gives it a very nice rounded edge. So that makes a very pretty border. So we're going to continue doing that all the way around, working three double crochets in each of our chain three spaces. And in the corner, we'll wear, we will work a three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet in each of our corners. So go ahead and work all the way around the blanket, and I'll meet you back at the beginning of row three. All right, so when we get back down to the beginning here, we are just going to simply come right into the top of that first double crochet and do a slip knot to join. And then we're just going to 
clip off our yarn and tie it off and weave in our ends and we are done. This is the border for our blanket. I will take a picture of this all spread out to have at the end of this video for you. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. This is just one of many, many, many ways you can put a border on a blanket. But this one does look nice on this blanket. And again, I will include a picture of the blanket spread out so you can see what it looks like in its entirety. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not done so already, please hit the subscribe buttons and ring the bell so you don't miss any future notifications. And I look forward to meeting with you next Monday for our next Funday Monday project.